I had to eat Edinburgh meat. I was given a few gifts, one of which was this huge pack of Puckapad notepads, so greatly appreciated. I'll actually be sharing these with my work colleagues here rather than take them all home in my luggage because they're quite heavy. So uh, I'll also probably leave some here, so we've always got notepads here to actually work with. And also some uh, multicolour Sharpies. Other things were this very common type of connector you get from China, and can you tell the three ways this fails? If you're if you're based in Britain, you'll probably know what the problems are here. The first one is that the earth pin is sleeved. The earth pin should not be sleeved. If you put this into a standard socket, the first connection is the earth, and as you push it in, it will then end up in the sleeve section, which means that the appliance won't be earth. Second problem is that it's not got a fuse in it, uh, and that's quite significant because we have a 200 volt supply and 32 amp circuit breakers, and that packs quite a punch power-wise. And the third problem with this is the fact it's based on copper-coated aluminium wire, and copper-coated aluminium <coughs> has a slight higher resistance than copper. It's basically it's cheaper than copper because some people have invested in copper to make lots of money because it's a valuable resource, and uh, in doing so, I've driven the price of copper up to the point that it's uh, now resulting in stuff like this being made available. So let's uh, zoom in this a bit, partly to make sure we're in focus, and we shall... Uh, Try and get this to a good focal position. It's uh, round about there, I think. <clears throat> so when you try twisting this stuff together, it's quite difficult. It just springs back. Whereas with copper, it would twist quite nicely. This stuff just tends to be quite springed. Likewise, if I fold it down like that, it just bounces back like a spring. The other test for this involves a cigarette lighter. Uh, I'll just ask one of my colleagues for a lighter here. <clears throat> oh. And if I was to light uh, a lighter and hold the flame under actual copper, it would stay put and just it would blacken and glow red. With this stuff, I'm just going to be careful here, this looks like a highly dangerous lighter. With this stuff, it just frizzles and it sort of it goes crunchy and crisp and just frazzles up. Um, and this stuff uh, is a disaster waiting to happen, copper-coated aluminium. This is ultimately going to cause so many problems in the future because you're getting a lead that you'd think <coughs> is usable for many applications. This claims to be rated at about 10 amps, but in reality, if you loaded this up to 10 amps, there's a very good chance this cable may actually start smoking and uh, cause problems. It would certainly probably suffer thermal damage. So keep an eye out for these. When you get uh, appliances uh, from China, because that's where a lot of this stuff is coming from that bypasses our regulations, <clears throat> keep in mind that if you're in the UK and you get the plug that looks like this, just bin the whole lead that's the best bet and replace it with a proper lead. Um, if you're in other countries, <coughs> feel the cable and, and uh, you know, if it comes to it, cut the end off to re-terminate it, check the cable. If the cable isn't copper, uh, you know what, save yourself a load of hassle. Go and get from a local supplier a proper lead that is like fitting your local regulations in your country because it will save a lot of trouble in the long run and that includes burning your house down.